Hey, my lovelies, and welcome back to episode 15 of Growing Not So Buried Together, Roast Yen. And I may sound a bit stuffed up, that is because I'm actually sick with the flu, so maybe I should be in bed, maybe not, uh, but we are filming here this episode here today for you lovelies, and we are here with the lovely Ruby, who is currently on a date with Monica, who she met in the last episode, who also became very quickly her girlfriend in the last episode. So we are gonna go on the second day that she has to go, and oh, is she doing well bowling? She got a strike. Damn. Nice job, girl. But she is on a date with Monica, this is gonna be her second date, and then we are gonna be on the second step of the serial romantic part. We, it is a Friday, she had to go to university, which she did already do in the morning, so I partially played off camera for the evening and the morning, so there's also a few screenshots that I took for some thumbnails, a lot of screenshots, um, but she acquired the bowling skill, she turned in her confidence, she turned in all of her papers, so she admit, submitted all of them in accident excellent quality she is now research and debate level seven she reached charisma level nine so we're almost done with that part and she also got promoted to mecca's influencer because she officially reached level four of the entrepreneur skill she is now she's still in a career we're using it to get some extra money because it's necessary but for now, the only thing that we still need to do is take a final exam for our Monday class, and then I think we should be fine. We do need to make a business plan, but since we can do that probably after our date. But I wanted her to have a little bit of fun after the classes, and also make sure that she just have a nice time, because university is not all about working, it's also about having fun. She also received a pristine reputation, and that's basically about it from the things that you miss off camera so right now we're going on a little date she wants to have a drink at a lounge so we're gonna do that in the evening she also wants to do something romantic so that's why we are on this little date and also to boost up her fun because it's looking a bit low but yeah the the bowling is helping at least Whoa. and we need to Let's see, she's a bit tense, so we need to flirt, become playful, and socialize. Why don't we start with the socialization and just do a little bit of flirts if, because she wants to be romantic. We're not going to talk about marriage because no marrying for you right now. But we're just going to start with some interest, like ask about her degree because apparently we don't know that yet. And then we're also going to be doing a little bit of flirting. And I did give her a little makeover, so she is looking a bit different. Lower, let's lower my volume a bit because it's a bit loud. But she is looking a little bit more grown up again. She's looking a little bit more fancy. But I think when she is studying a lot more and her semesters get a bit busier, because now she's managing, I think she's gonna change her outfit a bit more in terms of looking a bit more student-like and this lot I downloaded off the gallery it's a bowling and karaoke lot specifically made for Senpa Shuno and it looks honestly amazing so I will leave the creator in the description down below and the name of the actual lot so you love these can also download it and use it in your own games if you want to because this one it looks really really nice and we're doing well with the flirtations and the date. They are on their phones a lot, so I don't think they're that interested. But again, <laughs> she's just fooling around. She, They use the word girlfriends, but they're not actually girlfriends. So after we finish this, we are actually on this part. But we have already had three first kisses, so I don't know if we have to do it again. Because we kissed Molly, we kissed... Was it Kiana? And then now we have kissed uh, Monica as well. So we should have already ticked this one off. And then it's have a strong romantic relationship with three sims at once. Kiss ten sims, which I think some of our roommates will be some victims of that too. And then finally earn gold on three dates or have a 
boyfriends or girlfriends. So we're going to probably ask some people to be who partners um, or uh, say that she's going to be in non-exclusive uh, relationships longer. so that it doesn't harm. But uh, it's so going to be a lot to juggle. <laughs> and there's a lot of pregnant sims around here. So oh, we'll see how it goes. But I do want to work a bit more on her aspiration oh, in this part. Her university is going well, her skills are going well, especially since she's already level 9 of Charisma. She, like, I still want to max out logic and research and debate, but this is not in the rules. So these are things that, if we don't max them out, it's not an issue. But I think it's something that we still should try to do. So we'll see how it goes. They're now talking. I think she's also going to... Need to use a toy that soon and she's getting a bit of a little bit hungry so i want her to buy some food at one of the market stalls down here if there's some food that we can buy and oh one of um rory's friends is here but she's gonna haggle and buy some food afterwards and while she is finishing up her date by eating some sweet and sour pork she actually earned a legendary date but she is having some trouble with eating with chopsticks and now we do have to have the first three kisses um so we have to kiss three new sims and then have to build up a strong relationship with all of these three sims so i don't think it's gonna work on monica but I do want to see if it's going to work on some of her other roommates. So I think she does perceive Rochelle as attractive. I also think she perceives Julian as attractive or is very attractive. But Julian knows she's an alien, so I don't think she wants to reach out to Julian. She does think Nathaniel is attractive and they have good compatibility. And also then we still have... Um, Dominique as well as in terms of her roommates but there are also some other people that we can contact so maybe some people we are meeting new um we know Mercedes who is an old friend of her sister Nani and then some other people that she knew in the past so for example Bernard she knew in the past and we did talk about potentially having a love story between those two so maybe she can flirt with him and then I think some other people that she knows from her high school that she used to be friends with. I think her and Janine may be having some flirts. But also we do have to keep some of her friends as still friends. And not being just people she kisses and people she um, is interested in. So I think instead she is gonna... Hmm, what is she gonna do? She is gonna... Well, she's going to say goodbye to to Monica first. And I think maybe she is going to set up a dating profile through the um, relationships and pregnancy overhaul menu to see if there's anybody that fancies her. So we are going to set up our profile. So our goals are only looking for a good time. I think she's not looking for a serious relationship. Uh, Turn-ons, turn-offs. I'm not gonna set this because she has those already. And we now have a custom profile. So I'm just gonna set all of this up. And she is gonna quickly go back home to write a business plan. And then maybe we go out somewhere else to meet some people. So we can work more on the flirtatious part of her. And we actually got a pop-up. I have called to inform you that your great-great-grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? We're gonna say under what conditions because this is gonna give us some money but not a lot. And she took a nap. She worked on her business plan which was just started and we already got it. So we are gonna... Is there anything to do in the fashion district? I don't think so. We have some frogs here that are actually rare items. Um, 
And there is somebody here who is asking. We have some people over here. I think she is gonna... Because she doesn't want to have a drink at the lounge. And she wants to listen to backyard music. Well, we can do that already with your own speaker. So why don't you listen to mix music and then change the station to backyard. So that you are listening to backyard music. And we are gonna... She she still has a crush on Molly. Okay, but we are gonna travel. And we are gonna go to the lounge. But it's interesting that she still has a crush on Molly after all this time. Hmm. Alrighty, so we are at the Stargazer Lounge. So why don't we order a drink? And she is going to order her favorite drink because I do want to know what their, her favorite drink is. And we have one person here, which is a dreamer. And I think she's originally from the Yang family. Oh, it's her neighbor. It's our neighbor. But she is going to order a drink, what she wants to do. And she is just going to check the surroundings. We have an adult and we have an adult here. So don't think it's really the place where you can meet and mingle, but maybe you can, while waiting for your drink, browse some profiles. So browse all profiles and maybe there's somebody that you like. We also have Wolfgang Munch here, who is an adult, but I don't see her really going for adults. I think I'm seeing her more going for some young adults, but we'll see. If there's anybody here that potentially catches her eye, maybe she is gonna go for Bernard if Bernard is on here. Mm, not seeing him. I'm seeing Daphne, an old friend of Nani as well. I'm not really seeing anything or anyone really fitting. Julian and Dominique are on here. Okay. Um. Oh, it's in alphabetical order. Okay, so maybe Bernard could be on here. Molly is on here, so she is gonna send Molly a message. Um, Molly is looking for. Let's see. She's been in a long-term relationship before, yeah, with us. She's looking for a serious relationship. No, we're not going to go for a serious relationship. But it is interesting that she used to know... Like, she broke up with uh, Ruby because of a short fling of forever. We're going to go with the flow. Don't think she's going to go with that either. Ah. Jerry, she used to know short fling... No. So no PM1 that she really knows who's interesting to her. Um, we're gonna drink this. But, you know, so you can also always uh, scope the surroundings, see if there's anybody interesting. We have only adults here, so maybe she is gonna go somewhere else. And maybe we're also just gonna browse a filter with... And just see like who else she can find. But she's out of the town, she's just looking around, probably just trying to have some fun. But she really wants to talk to Molly, so maybe we should message her? And I had her re-roll talking to Molly, because I wanted to see what else she wants to do. And she actually wants to break up with Monica. So I'm gonna pin that, and I'm gonna try one more time to browse. And she had her drink, if she wants to go somewhere else, I think the karaoke bar is a bit, little bit better. Where she had the date with Monica. So we're just gonna browse profiles with a filter. And if we don't see anybody that we can meet up with, we are just gonna go out in either the uh, Brightest pub or we're gonna go into the karaoke bar. Alright, so we have Kiara or Kiara who we are meeting up with as a maid and mingle. She is maid and mingle, meet and mingle. Um, she's gonna do a flirty introduction and we are back at the karaoke bar. So I think after a little flirty introduction, they are gonna do some... Bob I think it's working. 
I definitely think it is working. Uh, she learned all her traits, but we are gonna see if she finds her attractive or just have a first kiss and get everything out of there. But they're gonna do also do some karaoke and I have to clean some of my fantasy custom content. I really do. Huh, somebody she knows has died. Mercedes? Oh yeah, I knew that Mercedes died. Um, but I'm looking, I'm seeing some people dying, which is not good. But what do you think of her? Kiara, let's see, can I find her in here? I'm gonna look her up to see what she thinks of Kiara. And she does want to kiss somebody, so we are going to compliment her appearance, but I cannot you. find her. And she, Go they're loud. Okay. They're okay. very loud, but... Arco is not that bad compared to her hookup. So I'm just gonna quickly wait for them to stop singing and see if we can get a kiss out of here and take that one off real quickly. And we'll see who we're gonna build up relationships after what. But there are some people listening to her. I don't see anybody else currently that she may find interesting. But who knows? She may be a, a person with many interests. We also have a lot of people down here. Um, one alien. We have Sam here again. So maybe he lives in the city. And we have Tori Ward. I think she's his daughter of Judo Ward. Who is not looking too bad. So maybe we will do a flirt with her too and otherwise just look around in town. We have some stalls here, some people walking around. So who knows, there may be someone out there for her. And she actually Miss said Soda. it's time for us to make Would passionate moves. So we are gonna have our first boo and it does... Oh, it does have ticked off two out of three first kisses now. So she may not have had a first kiss with with Monica yet, but we are going to, if they want to, which I do think they do, romance, physical intimacy, woohoo in the hot tub after doing a heat of the moment kiss. Because she is a great kisser, she probably will be able to get that kiss out of there. And then they're gonna woohoo in the hot tub. And she's gonna have her first <laughs> woohoos on a public lot. So, who knows? Maybe she has a good experience, maybe not. And they are here for their first woohoo together. And Ruby's all time first woohoo. She does think Kiara, Kiara is attractive. So, there is some. There's some attraction that helps, but they are gonna woohoo for the first time. Oh, there she goes. She knows what she's doing. She had a hit of the moment kiss, so she feels confident from having her kiss accepted. She feels flirty from woo approval. She is not feeling well in terms of her needs. And now she needs to achieve level 6 of her charisma skill, which we've already done. Have a strong romantic relationship with three sims at once. Still need to do that. And then kiss 10 sims. Well, I think we have somebody who is already going to be... They're going at it. Damn. I'm gonna leave these two. But I think um, her new meet and mingle fling is one of the people who is going to be sim that she kisses. And I saw a vampire in the window. So apparently we also have some vampires here. And student life means being out late, getting home very tired, very hungry. But it is Harvest Fest, so she is now appeasing the nose by giving these two a coffee and this one a toy. F according to the chart, it should work, which does seem so far. She's then gonna go to bed real quick and also make a grand meal for her and her roommates. Ooh, we got some sea packets. We don't need it in the apartment, but it's always nice to have and always something that we can potentially sell. So I don't think she's gonna go to her parents. I think she's just gonna go out. Why are you up again? You should not be up. This is not on, right? No, but it is... I think she's 
gonna quickly go sleep and then we have a debate showdown soon so i know you're tired but quickly go to bed get some rest and well go to your debate showdown and we are here at the debate showdown which is also joined by kiyoshi ito red who read who um julian monica Brittany, and sierra dawson who we also seem to know. So we are going to do a practice and debate showdown. She hasn't been able to cook a grand meal. And I don't think we're going to decorate our um, apartment. So we are just going to win a debate. Hopefully. Research any topic. Uh, sorry mom. We're not going to be able to call. Because we have a debate showdown. And we are going to practice debating for two hours. We also have Rochelle and Nathan here. So, okay, and I did place down some lots as well. So I placed down a different commons area. So this one is a lot more catered to different things. And I will also list the creator in the description down below for this lot as well. But it really is looking like it's fitting um, the University of Bridgester. And she is now talking to some of the younger members, the senior members, in terms of how long they've been. And don't you dare, Nina, just make our statue dirty. But we are going to try to practice in a debate showdown. And otherwise, we are going to debate a topic in case it's not possible. She's... There's a fight? Okay, apparently debate is not that calm if people are fighting over here. Um, in the meantime, she is gonna uh, debate about... Or about notes with... With Sierra. But yeah, these two got into a fight, I think. I'm not 100% sure who won, I didn't see the notification. Um, oh, she's already got a debate with Kiyoshi. Okay, he just had his... Uh, he just had his fight, so he is, I think, down for this debate. But she is gonna be having her first official showdown. And we're gonna see how it goes against Kiyoshi. And it, she looks really cute in the outfit, although I do wish that it was red with the Foxbury colors because it matches more. But in terms of what she, what's best of her career, it is actually the Rochester colors. She won the debate, the showdown is over. We do have somebody from the, Junior is also in a spirit core. Okay, so he is a man of many things. But we are gonna talk to Kiyoshi, who apparently she has already, without really talking to him, a very good relationship with. And we are gonna go maybe to a secluded area to get the next kiss out. We've never actually seen her with a guy, even though she is a bisexual queen. So, can we... Can we select Kiyoshi? No, he's gone. And... Why did this get re got reset? I have no idea. But she wants to do some of her homework. And I think we're gonna call over Kiyoshi just to talk. She's gonna send... She's just gonna talk. She's just gonna invite him out. Like, hey, uh, great debate. Uh, would you love to chat up some more before leaving? Because I would, uh, would love to hear some more tips from you. Some more advice on what to do like i know i won but i think you you were amazing so she is gonna invite him over and in the meantime she is going to take everybody that's in the debate team is also apparently the spirit corpse but she is also gonna take a selfie with the mascot in uh -huh. the meantime in her little debate outfit oh Sorry, i really need to work on oh, deleting oh. some custom oh, content because this oh. does not look good Ugh. it definitely does not look good 
So we are sitting here in a little bit more of a secluded area oh. right behind the commons and she does want to flirt with him. So let's see. It's a university mixer tonight. Um, apparently it's not working out. Um, she is bothered by her eczema. She... I don't think Kyoshi is going to be a potential love interest, but we can add to the mixer. How do we... It's Campus Commons venue. Sometimes enemies can be friends, so maybe we will talk to some of the members from the other team and otherwise from our own, because Nathaniel Hendricks is here. He's a rifle, but he's here. So why don't we talk to Nathaniel, who is one of her roommates, and she wants to do a heap of the moment kiss, so I guess we can bring him somewhere in the secluded area, so she, um, ooh, he discovered that she's an alien too, no, but she is gonna try to kiss her roommate and potentially maybe ask if they would like to be woohoo partners. In case this doesn't build up romance, but we'll have to see. She didn't like that she was being uh, rejected by Kyoshi. Because it's not something that often happens to her. So we'll have to see how it goes with Nutani, who is of course one of her roommates. Alright, he is Roommate? accepting the flirt. And she does want to complain about Harvest Fest to him. Because I don't think it's much of her holiday. She typically always had her parents um, set, prepare everything. But she... she really didn't care much about it but since the compliment works why don't we ask Arisa a question and just see how how things go she wants to ask him to hang out too and she wants to confess attraction too maybe we should just mm, she wants to embrace or hug somebody can we hug him already? We can. We can also do heat of the moment kiss. So Zarba. why don't we do that and then do a little bit of an embrace. We'll see how it goes. If this Zarba. works, Zarba. we will have somebody Zarba. else um, that she has kissed. Mark so that will be two Lens. people, two sims. And uh. he is smitten with her. <laughs> no. He is falling Ooh. for her. <laughs> Like, she Zuma. is... I know she's one of a kind. I know, but... Didn't know that he was being so smitten uh, by her so soon. And is she gonna go in for the... She's gonna go in for the embrace. But maybe she will go in for the kiss too. And if that's so, we're gonna have it on... As a screenshot, for sure. Okay, she's not going in for it right now. But we'll see if she will be doing the heat of the moment kiss. Or otherwise, there's the embrace. They do have a little bit of romance now. So let's try... Because we're going to build up this relationship. And let's try if we can do a little bit of rom more romance. By doing a Morris hug. As I think she can convince him to do it. And then also... Let's see... Physical intimacy... Oh, we cannot do the heat of the moment kiss anymore, but kiss hands because she's not, she's not flirty anymore. She's more happy because of sh having friends. No, you need to, you need to be romantic so you can have strong romantic relationships. And there it is, the first kiss. She has a suggestive conversation. She has now kissed two sims and she did achieve level six of charisma. So we should build up their relationship just a slight bit more, or tap bit more. She's gonna do some sexy poses, and she is gonna do some more flirts. And after she has the strong romantic relationship, I think we're going to uh, not talk about marriage, but we are going to, let's see, um... I actually want her to ask him to be woohoo partners. So she is gonna exchange numbers, she's just gonna do a few flirts. He's actually 
Oh, he's so smitten with her. He is so smitten, and she's just like, oh, that's another one. But yeah, we're gonna have Nathaniel as a woohoo partner. She still wants to break up with Monica, so we're gonna leave that until we have the strong relationships and the girlfriends and boyfriends part. So she will break up with Monica after all of this, but she will break up with Monica for sure. So we are not going to ask him to be our boyfriend yet, but we are going to just keep doing a few more physical things and we're going to kiss him a little bit more and then ask to be with partners. Okay, two things are happening. Um, she has a pop-up for a new personality trait. She has been a perfectionist lately. Ruby thinks things should be done with high school and lots of focus embrace a change. I'm going to say yes, but I will leave a poll on Twitter and also in the community tab to ask you guys if we should keep it. Otherwise, I will remove it. But yes, she is going to have... Um, she's going to have a new personality trait for now until you guys say that it shouldn't be the case. But I do think perfectionist fits because she does want to do everything perfect. She wants to do everything in her picture. And she also reached Charisma level 10. So we already ticked off that part. So the only things that we know... It's not level 10. Um, but it's close. So the only things we need to tick off is reach the level 10 of the political career. Finish this. Have one child. And leave somebody at the altar to not get married during young adulthood. So we need to find some way or some storyline as to why she oh wrong button as to why she leaves somebody at the altar why she's getting married i have some ideas in mind but if you also have some ideas let me know in the comments down below but there are a few things that i think could be nice for uh, to happen so who knows we'll maybe we'll see in the next episode maybe in a few episodes but for now she has another strong relationship she um she's not gonna talk about marriage no 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 um she is on her period so that's not good she is feeling flirty she also feels great about having a woo partner so it's gonna be no romance or no like building up romance but it's more going to be like just fun and i think she's gonna ask more people to be woo partners until we need her to actually have some a boyfriends and girlfriends so i'm going to end the episode here actually uh, i think it's better for my voice to rest as my throat is hurting a lot so i hope you guys liked this episode let me know all your ideas of how this is going let me know what you think in terms of her building up some relationships like she kissed a few people she kissed nathaniel now she kissed Kiara, she still needs to kiss Mo uh, Monica, which I think will count then as well. And then I also want her to, basically, because she likes all of her roommates, have a little thing for all of her roommates. But we'll see how it goes with Julian. So I think she likes Julian, but she doesn't want to get close to him. So we'll see how that goes. And also let me know what you think um, is the reason that she is going to get into a, marriage, uh, into a marriage and call it off. Let me know in the comments down below. But if you like this episode, click that little like button down below. If you're not subscribed yet and don't want to miss out on either a chaotic or wholesome episode, make sure you click the subscribe button down below as well. And I'll see you lovelies in the next one. I found you in.